Jacob Wall is a particularly contentious figure, and it would seem that most people on the left and the right don't like him right now because he's been busted doing a bunch of fake news things. In fact, we have this story. Fox News contributor Kat Timpf calls for Jacob Wall to be prosecuted in scathing op-ed. I do have the op-ed, but I want to point out some of Mediaite's first points, you know, uh, the points they make in this before jumping over to the op-ed. In light of social media troll Jacob Wall appearing to have reported a false death threat to police, National Review writer and Fox News contributor Kat Timpf argued that if true, it should be a no-brainer to prosecute Wall. I said it about Jesse Smollett, and I'll say it again now. Faking any kind of violence, verbal or physical, against yourself just to get attention or clicks is not only pathetic, but it also hurts real victims, she wrote in a National Review op-ed. After all, racism and homophobia, which were apparently faked in the case of Smollett, and harassment of right-wing people for their political beliefs, which is apparently faked in case of Wall, are very real things. She said she's libertarian, <clears throat> excuse me, not right-wing, but unfortunately have experienced some of that sort of harassment myself, presumably for my professional association with right-wing outlets. Tim pointed to when political lives were actually in danger. Uh, we'll, we'll jump over to this, but I want to end with what media has to say because they, they, they just made a couple points. Wall shenanigans, they include voyaging to Minnesota in an attempt to prove the city is patrolled by Sharia police. It's not. And that Rep. Elon Omar is married to her brother. She's not. But hold on. You know, they say she's not. But um, all I can really say is that actually, no, it's probably fair. But I want to point out Snopes says the claim is unproven, not that it's false. I'm not a big fan of Snopes. But if Snopes is saying unproven instead of false, well, then I don't know where we go from there. Have, uh, have been widely condemned by conservatives and liberals. It appears dunking on Wall is one of the few remaining things left that can unite the two sides. Jacob Wall, apparently, let me try and make this bigger, was involved in a hoax where he tried claiming that um, Robert Mueller assaulted some woman. He's, done, he's repeatedly done things that I'm going to have to say are, are so inept. And, and it's, it's like, it's, it's, it's a weird thing. Because you have these Democratic operatives that were busted, right? Because I, I, we, we, I talked about this with the Twitter people on Joe's podcast. They busted, uh, or I should say the New York Times released information saying that there's Democratic operatives meddling in elections. They, for the most part, got away with it until the New York Times got their hands on a report proving it. Jacob Wall just gets caught every single time he tries. It seems like he understands the concept of media manipulation, but he doesn't understand how it works. So every time he tries to pull off some ridiculous fake news endeavor, he just gets caught doing it. That this is, you know, he had, I guess he admitted to USA Today he was operating fake fake accounts called sock puppets to manipulate the election. He's talking about doing it more. And I got to say, I don't understand why people would support this guy, uh, support him. He's been completely and utterly, utterly discredited. I will also mention, I was recently doing some uh, interviews in DC. I did briefly meet him, didn't really talk about much, but this is a guy who is probably one of the greatest gifts to the Democrats and to the left because he makes Republicans and the right look crazy. He is, you know, such a, a bright beacon with a ton of followers doing these high profile things and getting caught for it. He becomes an e- he, com- he becomes easy fodder for the left to call out. So here you have Catherine Tim saying, prosecute. Let's read on. Liberal or conservative, it's important for all of us to unite and condemn Wall's actions. Since since banned, right-wing troll Jacob Wall reportedly faked death threats against himself and reported them to the police, which is disgusting because it hurts real victims. According to an article in the Daily Beast, Wall and, and fellow since-banned troll Laura Loomer took a trip to Minneapolis last month to look for evidence of a weird since-disproven theory that represent, Rep- Representative Elon Omar married her brother. All I can really say on that is that Snopes said it was unproven. I, they didn't say it was disproven. They just, there's no evidence for it, I guess. Wall's videos of the trip were meant to send the message that Minneapolis was very dangerous and often showed him wearing a bulletproof, oh my God, in one of the, a bulletproof vest. In one of the videos, he goes to a police station to report death threats against him and his team. One of these threats had come from a Twitter account with the handle DrakeHome612, an account that has since been suspended, but at the time was described as having belonged to a local diversity coordinator. I hope you effing know that if I bump into you in Dinky Town or anywhere else in my city, I'm going to, okay, I'm not going to read, read this, but it's a death threat. No doubt receiving a message like that would be incredibly scary and definitely something worth reporting to the police. There was just one problem. Wall had apparently sent that message himself. Let me, let me stress in no uncertain terms, assuming this is all true, Jacob Wall is worse than the left-wing fake news pundits and personalities and journalists that are sowing the seeds of hate and division in this country. And I'll tell you exactly why. First, we do know they're Democratic operatives doing similar things. And they're on par. Actually, no, they're worse than, than Wall because they actually get away with it. 
But when it comes to these fake news media outlets that are pumping out trash to manipulate you into doing something, they're, first of all, these, these, these trash blogs that are, are, are foaming at the mouth, accusing certain people of being far right or other whatever nonsense, many of these people are true believers. And they're just partisan, hyper-partisan activists. They really believe what they're saying, and it's, and it's dangerous what they're saying. Jacob Wall apparently knows he's lying, and he's trying to manipulate the right into doing things for him. He's trying to manipulate everybody. I do not take kindly to anybody who would manipulate anyone else with fake news and manipulation, coercive force, tricking you into acting against your own interests. When I, if I was going to put a scale on, you know, from one to 10 of worst of the worst, I look at these writers from these hyperpartisan, you know, far left blogs, and they're goddamn awful, like an eight and an eight or nine. And actually, I'll give them a seven because many of them are true believers. They're just crazy. But this is an eight or a nine, right? When, when you know what you're doing, the worst of the worst is reserved for the Democratic operatives in, in Alabama who got away with it for the most part and still try to maintain their innocence. But Wall is just fodder. He does the same thing, but he makes it easier for the, the, these fringe activists, these media outlets to weaponize what he does in their favor. He is effectively giving them ammunition and making the problem worse. Journalist Tony Webster reported that Drake Holmes 612 was actually not a diversity coordinator, as the account had claimed, but an entirely fake account created by Wall himself. A source described as being familiar with Wall's fake accounts confirmed the fact to the Daily, to the, to the Daily Beast. Well, I think we need more evidence than that if we're going to point the finger, but the Daily Beast is one of these hyperpartisan outlets. All I can say is Wall has done these things in the past. I, I wouldn't trust him on this one, nor do I trust the Daily Beast. But what can I say? According to the Beast, it's not clear yet whether Wall actually reported those fake threats to the Minneapolis, po- Minneapolis police or whether he just created the account to put the threats in the video later. But a police report obtained by the news organization does describe Wall bringing up printed tweets as evidence of the threats. It just doesn't say exactly which ones. So this could actually be a smear job, it sounds like. But I got got to say, look, based on Wall's history, he admitted to operating sock puppets. That's bad enough. If you operate sock puppets, I I think you're a bad person, plain and simple. There's There's only one reason for sock puppets for the most part. Like, listen, if your Twitter account is you and you've got like an anime bird avatar of some sort, and you like, you know, say things, that's fine. I get it. But when you have 50 of them, when you have two or three of them and you use them to circumvent bans and act like you're different people, that's where it becomes a problem. She goes on to say, I said it about Jesse Smollett. I'll say it again now. Faking any kind of violence, verbal or physical against yourself to get attention or clicks is not only pathetic, but it also hurts real victims. After all, racism and homophobia and harassment of right wing people for their political beliefs, which was apparently faked in the case of Wall, are very real things. She, uh, so, I, so I read through this. But let's, get, let's go down. She says, um, do, do, do. what's more, I'm far from alone. Uh, she, says, she says, I'm far from alone. Representative Bob Goodlatte and one of his neighbors, Thomas A. Garrett, both received apparently politically motivated death threats last year. And let's also not forget James T. Hodgkinson, who took things many steps further by attempting to assassinate Republican lawmakers as they practiced for the congressional baseball game in 2017, severely wounding Representative Steve Scalise. If there are, God forbid, future victims of this kind of harassment of vi- or violence, What Wall has done here has made people less likely to believe their stories. His self-serving lies have given people a reason to offer doubt rather than support in these situations. Spot on. I don't see how this is. uh, I understand there's a difference in the level of severity between between what Justice Smollett did. But how do you, after Justice Smollett, do this? Okay. again, it's coming from the Daily Beast. So I want to make sure, you know, I point that out. It's, it's, it is possible that they're just dragging small on this one, uh, dragging wall on this one, but I do not trust this guy. He's admitted to operating sock puppets. He got banned for operating sock puppets, and I, I wouldn't be surprised. He's operated other hoax in the past. In a climate where political harassment is a real problem, the actions of wall have hurt real victims. Wall should be prosecuted for this reason as well, as well as because he clearly wasted the valuable time of Minneapolis law enforcement liberal or conservative, it's important for all of us to unite and condemn Wall's actions. That way, the next time some idiotic narcissist is tempted to fake an attack for attention, maybe he or she will decide against it and just post a selfie on Instagram like a normal person instead. I want to I want to say this, OK? I understand it's hard to know what's true and fake, especially when the Daily Beast is reporting on this. And I got I, I want to make sure this is clear. I've caught the Daily Beast pumping out unverified information as fact, and it's, and it's entirely possible they're doing the same thing now. Keeping that in mind, be aware there are people trying to manipulate you. They lie, cheat, manipulate you. They, they lie, cheat, and steal. 
They don't care about what's fair and honest. They don't care about what's true. They don't want to make sure you become rational. They want to point the finger and fan the flames. Jacob Wall, in a, in a statement to, the, to USA Today, said he was operating sock puppets. He went on to say that he was intending to manipulate the election. Maybe he was just trying to make a point. I don't know. But anybody who's willing to do that, to stage the thing they did with Robert Mueller, these people are, are horrible, horrible people, be, be it on the, on the left or the right. Admittedly, I don't think we see that many on the right getting caught doing this um, in terms of high level stuff, nor on the left, but there have been some instances. It looks like Jacob Wall is just completely inexperienced and keeps falling into these, like, he doesn't know what he's doing. He wants to be one of these manipulators. He's not. He's getting caught and it's wrong, period. I don't know what else to say other than anybody who wants to engage in this kind of behavior should be condemned outright. And he should face, should this be true that he faked these harassments and uh, th- th- these threats and report them to the police, he should be facing a, a penalty for that, you know, a criminal penalty, just like anybody else would. I'll leave it there, whatever. I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow on the main channel at 10 a.m. I, I hope you're all having a good day in light of recent events, and I just hope everyone stays safe. We'll see what happens. Adios.